हॅलो एव्हरी वन आय एम विद्या पाटील असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मेकॅनिकल इंजिनिअरिंग इन शरद इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग यट्राव टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोईंग टू लर्न द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ मशीन फॉर द सब्जेक्ट फंडामेंटल ऑफ मेकॅनिकल इंजिनिअरिंग इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोईंग टू कवर वॉट इज मशीन डिफरंट टर्म्स ऑफ मशीन लाईक लिंक पेअर कॅनामेटिक चेन and different motions involved in mechanism so first we start from machine so what is machine machine is a device which receives energy in some available form and utilize it to do some uh, particular type of work so machine is a combination of components which can be transmit power in controlled manner and capable uh, of performing useful work so this it is designed to achieve a specific motion or force transformations this could involve changing the direction of force amplifying its magnitude or converting one type of motion into another so machine is focused on practical applications for example uh, this example includes the turbine pump robots vehicles and countless other devices used in various industries so it is uh, it is machine receives the input uh, in terms of energy and material and produces the desired work output that is in terms of product so the machine components and mechanisms work together in controlled manner to achieve the desired output okay so this is the machine so machine in simple words machine is a device which receives energy in some available form and utilize that energy to do some particular type of work so there are different types of machine that is classification of machine machines uh, for generating mechanical energy we use that machine if we use the machine for generating mechanical energy that means that converts other form of energy into mechanical work uh that is steam engines steam turbines ic engine gas turbine okay and there are some another types that is machines uh, for trans uh, transmitting mechanical energy into other form of energy that is known as a converting machines so that converting machines like electric generators air or hydraulic pumps these are the these machines are known as a converting machines next is a machines for utilizing mechanical energy in the performance of useful work that is lathe machine and other machine tools okay so this is the classification of machines that is mechanical which converts other form of energy into mechanical work again converting mach- uh, other form of energy again machines for utilizing mechanical energy in performance of useful work okay so these are the different types of machines next now we see the examples of the machines in mechanical engineering so in generally there are two types of machines that is manual machine and electronic machine as shown in figure here i give the example of typewriter which is manual machine and next figure i shown the laptop that is the electronic machine so in mechanical industry there are internal combustion engines which converts the chemical energy into mechanical work again wind turbine is this is also one mechanical engineering application that is uh, wind turbine which converts the wind energy wind energy into electrical energy then robotic arm robotic arm also converts the electrical signals into precise movements and hydraulic press hydraulic press also uses the fluid pressure to exert the large forces and conveyor belt that is also transport materials efficiently so these are also machines which are that is combustion engine wind turbine robotic arm hydraulic press and conveyor belts which we are going to use in mechanical engineering also in this figure also i shown the television mobile bicycle air conditioner these are also applications of the these are also machines okay which we are going to use in daily routine life next uh, term that is link okay so link link is a part part of a machine okay which moves relative to some other part that is called as a link or kinematic link or element so link is a rigid body within the machine that connects other parts and transmit the forces and motion 
so link is defined as a single part which can be resistance body or the combination of resistance bodies having the inflexible connections and having a relative motion with respect to other parts of a machine so link is also known as a kinematic link or element so the frame of any machine here i shown one figure there are three four types of links i shown here link 1 that is ground link 2 that is crank link 3 that is the connecting rod and link 4 that is the slider okay so the frame of machine is considered as a single link as there is no relative motion between the various parts of the frame as shown here shown in slider crank mechanism okay so the frame is considered as a one link that is link number 1 as there is no relative motion in the frame itself the crank here uh, is the link number 2 and the connecting rod is again single link okay that is link 3 so the slider or the piston is link 4 as there is no relative motion it in this way many complex mechanisms can be uh, described by simple configuration diagram by considering the definition of the link okay so this link can be classified in different ways so first classification of link is based on that uh, link is rigid link flexible link and fluid link according to its nature okay according to the nature of link the three types of the link that is rigid flexible and fluid link first is the rigid link in rigid link is the link which do not deform while transferring the motion okay rigid means there is no deformation occurs so li rigid link is the link which do not deform while transferring the motion for example the connecting rod lever these are the examples of the rigid link second is the flexible link flexible link is a link which deform while transmitting the motion but do not affect its function of transmitting motion so in flexible link is one which is partly deformed in a manner not to affect the transmission of the motion okay the the examples of the flexible links are chain belt these are the chain drives belt drives okay belt and rope etc next is a fluid link so fluid link is a link which uses the fluid pressure to transmit the motion like uh, to transmit the motion so fluid link is a one which formed by having a fluid uh, fluid in a uh, and the motion is transmitted through the fluid by pressure or compressor only so as in case of hydraulic presses jacks brakes there is a fluid link so again the links are classified uh, like binary uh, ternary and uh, quaternary etc that is depending upon its end end on which revolute or turning pair can be placed so again binary links having two connections uh, ternary links having three connections and quaternary links having four connections so this binary ternary and quaternary links i shown in this figure so first figure shows the binary link having two nodes again ternary links having three nodes and quaternary links having the four links so these links are also classified depending upon its end on which revolute or turning pairs can be placed next point that is kinematic pair or simply pair when two links or elements of a machine when in contact with each other that are said to be a form of a pair okay when two links or elements of a machine when in contact with each other are said to be a form of a pair so if the relative motion between them is completely or successfully constrained that means that having the definite direction that time that pair is known as a kinematic pair so kinematic pair is a connection between rigid bodies which permit relative motion between them when two links are connected in such a manner that relative motion between them takes place in a definite way then it is called as a kinematic pair so when the links are supposed to be rigid in kinetics they there cannot be any change in relative positions of any two chosen points on the selected link so these kinematic pairs also classified as a types of contact between elements types of relative motion and nature of constraint or types of closure 
so first type that is type of contact between elements so type of contact between elements having lower pair and higher pair so first we see the lower pair lower pair is a pair of links having surface or area contact between the members that is known as a lower pair the surfaces in contact of two links are also similar here now we see in uh, example that is nut turning on a screw so that nut turning on a screw that are having surface contact also the surfaces which are come in contact uh, that are also similar that's why that is the lower pair the example of the nut turning on a screw is the example of lower pair also shaft rotating in a bearing this is also example of lower pair because when shaft is rotating in bearing that time shaft surface and bearing surfaces are come in contact and that surfaces are also similar surfaces that's why these are also lower pair next type of contact uh, between elements that is higher pair when the pair has a point or line contact between the links that time that is known as a higher pair means in higher pair there is line contact or point contact there is no surface contact and also the contact surfaces of the two links are dissimilar so in lower pairs the contact surfaces are similar but in higher pair the contact surfaces of the two links are dissimilar so examples of the higher pair are wheel rolling on a surface wheels which wheels rolling on a surface this uh, the surface of the surface having uh, surface and wheel both having dissimilar surfaces again cam and follower cam having different surface and follower having different surface but but cam and follower both are in contact with each other that's why that is also higher pair also tooth gears ball and roller bearings these are also examples of the higher pair where the uh, point and line, line contacts takes place next type of next type that is type of relative motion so depending on the type of relative motion the pairs are classified as sliding pair turning pair screw pair rolling pair and spherical pair so in sliding pair first we see sliding pair in sliding pair what happen when two pairs have sliding motion relative to each other that means two pairs having sliding motion you can see in this figure this figure shows the sliding pair here there are two bodies this is sec first body and this is second body so from first body this second body is slide in first body so there is a sliding motion takes place so that's why this is the example of sliding pair so again piston and cylinder piston also moves in cylinder body that's why there is also this is also sliding pair again rectangular rod in a rectangular hole that re in rectangular rod is also moves uh, slides in rectangular hole that's why that is also example of the sliding pair so in sliding pair two pairs having the sliding motion relative to each other that is called as a sliding pair next is a turning pair what happen in turning pair when one element revolves around another element it forms a turning pair that means one element is revolves around the other element that is forms a turning pair here also in in this figure also i shown the turning pair turning pair that is this is the bearing and this is the crankshaft so bearings is mounted on the crankshaft okay and shaft and here there is a collar also mounted so a, cr a crankshaft having the rotary motion so crankshaft is continuously rotating rota uh, in rotating in bearing that's why this is the turning pair okay so in turning pair one element revolves around another element element it is forms the turning pair next that is the screw pair screw pair this is also known as a helical pair in this type of pair two mating elements having have threads on it or it relative motion takes place along a helical curve okay so nut and screw pair is a example of this as shown in this figure also screw jack is also example of screw pair so nut and screw this uh, this this is the helical pair 
and this type of pair mating surfaces having the threads you can see in this figure nut and uh, this uh, nut and this screw having the threads okay so that's why this is screw pair next is rolling pair when one element is free to roll uh, over the other element that is uh, rolling pair so uh, the example of this rolling pair is ball ball and rolling uh, as shown in this pair ball and roller bearing that is higher pair also because ball and roller bearing there is a line or point contact that's why this is higher pair and this sliding pair sliding pair there is a surface contact that's why sliding pair is a lower pair so we see spherical pair in sp what happen in spherical uh, sorry we uh, we are seeing the rolling pair that is in rolling pair when one element is free to roll over the other here ball be balls are free freely rotated here in roller bearing in this casing that's why this is the rolling pair next is spherical pair sorry balls are rotated in races which are uh, balls are mounted in races so balls freely rotating in races that's why that is the rolling pair next is the spherical pair so sp i shown in figure this is last uh, figure that is spherical pair figure where ball socket joints are there okay when one one element moves relative to the other along a spherical surface so in this figure you can see there is a contact between there is a spherical surface contact so this is the spherical pair so uh, depending on the relative motion there are the uh, these are the types of pair that is sliding pair turning pair screw pair rolling pair and spherical pair also last type that is nature of constraint or type of closure that is closed pair and open pair in closed pair one element is completely surrounded by other element and in open pair when there is some external means ha uh, has been applied to prevent them from separation so in closed pair one element is completely surrounded by the other for example nut and screw pair and in open pair when there is some external means has been applied to prevent them from separation to avoid the separation some external force is applied there that is the example that is cam and follower so cam uh, follower is continu continuously rotating on the cam that's why to uh, avoid the separation or to uh, there is a force external source is applied to prevent them from the separation so this is the last uh, classification that is closed pair and open pair next now we see the kinematic chain so kinematic chain when the kinematic pairs are coupled in such a way that the link last link is joined to the first link to transmit the definite motion that time that chain is called as a kinematic chain so when two or more kinematic pairs are joined together they form the kinematic chain so kinematic chain may be defined as the combination of kinematic pairs joined in such a way that each link forms a part of two pairs and the relative motion between between the links or elements is completely or successfully constrained so when the kinematic pairs are coupled in such a way that the last link is joined to the first link to transmit the definite motion so that motions completely or successfully constrained motion so that is called as a kinematic chain so here there are some types of kinematic chain that is four bar four bar chain single four bar chain single slider crank chain and double slider crank chain we see the one by one first type that is four bar chain so in four bar chain mechanism so it is also called as a four bar linkage so it is a mechanical linkage which consists of four rigid bars connected by the joints or pivots you can see in this figure there is a four rigid bars bars bar o2 to b bar b c bar c o4 and o2 o4 these are the four bars which are connected by the joints or pivots so it forms the closed loop and ex exhibits a range of motion and mechanical advantages so four bar linkage are widely used in various applications such as machinery robotics and automotive systems 
to achieve the controlled and pre predictable movements including rotation translation and oscillation okay so here you can see in this figure the simplest and most fundamental kinematic chain is four bar chain or quadratic cycle chain so it is composed of four links each of uh, each of the uh, pair that is you can say in this the mechanism this mechanism also known as a planar four bar chain mechanism so for this four bar chain mechanisms having four terminologies to be considered by learning this four bar chain mechanism so first is a frame so the term frame refers to the fixed link you can see o2 o4 this is a frame here okay next is a rocker so any link that does not revolves is referred to as a rocker so in this figure co4 this is the rocker because this co4 does not revolve okay next crank so here o2 b this is the crank so crank is a link with ability to completely or uh, completely rotate that is uh, rotating condition that is called as a crank and next is the connecting rod so here bc is the connecting rod so the frames opposing link is referred to as a connecting rod or coupler so four bar linkage principle is that working principle of four bar linkage or chain mechanism is easy to understand so here this is o2 o4 bar is the frame c o4 bar to be the rocker and bc bar to be the connecting rod and o2 b bar to be the crank so the motion of the rocker causes the connecting rod to transmit motion to the crank to move uh, through a specific path which is determined by the length of the link and the position of the joint so this is all about four bar chain next type that is single slider crank chain so single slider crank chain is a modification of the basic four bar chain and it consists of one sliding pair and three turning pair so it is usually found in a reciprocating steam engine mechanism this type of mechanism converts rotary motion into reciprocating motion and vice versa so single slider crank mechanism is a four bar linkage with rotating crank attached to the slider which move in straight line you can see here this is the slider and this slider moves in straight line this mechanism is made up of three major components the crank which is rotating this is the crank which is revolving disc the slider which is having uh, sliding motion slide inside the tube and the connecting rod this is the connecting rod ab is the connecting rod here so connecting rod drives the wheel around for first 80 degrees of wheel rotation while the slider travels to the right okay so a mechanism is typically part of larger mechanism system or machine process so mechanism can also refer to an entire machine such as vehicle steering mechanism wash winding mechanism on other hand machine is a frequently characterized as a collection of multiple mechanisms okay next type that is double slider crank mechanism so this is the figure of double slider crank mechanism it consists two sliding links okay connected to the rotating crank through a pivot points so this mechanism versatile and importance stem uh, from its ability to convert rotary motion into reciprocating linear motion making it a critical component in various applications so this mechanism is found in engine pumps and manufacturing machinery so the double slider crank mechanism is uh, named to as a distinctive combination of two sliding pairs and and two twist pairs which is a key to its mechanical functionality so this mechanism is uh, compromised of two sliders uh, a mobile frame and linking component that securely maintains the distance between the two sliders okay so this design converts rotary motion motion into reciprocating linear motion with remarkable precision and control okay so these are the three types that is four bar chain single slider crank chain and double slider crank chain of the kinematic chain next that is different motions involved in mechanism so first that is completely constrained motion in completely constrained motion when the motion between the pair is limited to a definite direction irrespective of the direction of force applied 
then the motion is said to be completely constant you can see moves in a definite direction here this uh, in this figure you can see there is a shaft and shaft moves in definite direction only one direction that's why this is completely constrained so examples that is piston cylinder assembly so motion of square bar you can see here the motion of the square bar in square hole this, this there is a square hole and motion of the square bar in square hole this is the example of completely constrained next incompletely constrained incompletely constrained means when the motion between a pair can be take place in more than one direction then it is called as a incompletely constrained motion here you can see here shaft in a circular hole the sh that's why shaft is rotating in uh, uh, mo uh, moving up uh, moving towards also and in rotating condition also that's why uh, the motion between pair having takes place in more than one direction that's why this is incompletely constrained motion and last is the uh, last is successfully constrained motion so in successfully constrained motion there is a motion is not completely by itself uh, but by some other means so when the motion between the elements forming a pair in such a way that the constrained motion is not complete by itself but by some other means uh, then some motion is said to be a successfully constrained motion so the example of successfully constrained motions are shaft in footstep bearing again the motion of uh, ice uh, ic engine wall so these are the examples of successfully constrained uh, motion okay so in motion of ic engine walls uh, these are kept uh, on their seat by as a uh, seat by a spring that's why and a piston is reciprocating inside the engine cylinder are also the example of successfully constrained uh, motion so these are the different motions that is completely constrained incompletely constrained and successfully constrained uh, these are the motions so in this way we see the different motions and last there is a, i shown the relation between link pair and joints that is the formula is here l is equal to 2p minus 4 and j is equal to 3 by 2 l minus 2 that is l is the number of links p is the number of pairs and j is the number of joints if the left left hand side of this equation is greater than right hand side that time that is locked chain and if left hand side uh, left hand side is equal to right hand side of the above equations that time that is constrained kinematic chain and if right hand side is greater than left hand side of of these two equations that time that is unconstrained kinematic chain so we see the examples of this in next lecture thank you